Edgar Frank Tedcott, the youngest of seven children, was born August 19, 1923, on the Isle of Portland in the county of Dorset on the south coast of England. He was an English computer scientist who, while working for IBM, invented the relational model for database management, the theoretical basis for relational database and relational database management systems. He made other valuable contributions to computer science, but the relational model, a very influential general theory of data management, remains his most mentioned, analyzed and celebrated achievement. He was awarded a full scholarship to Oxford University, where he initially read chemistry. In 1942, despite the fact that he was eligible for a determinant because of his studies, he volunteered for active duty and became a flight lieutenant in the Royal Air Force Coastal Command, flying Sunderlands. After the war, he returned to Oxford to complete his studies, switching to mathematics and obtaining his degree in 1948. As part of his service in the RAF, Kod was sent to United States for aviation training. The experience led to a lifelong love of recreational flying. Also to a recognition that the United States had a great deal to offer for someone of a creative band like himself. As a consequence, he immigrated to the United States soon after graduating in 1948. After a brief period with Macy's in New York City, working as a sales clerk in the men's sportswear department, he found a job as a mathematics lecturer at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, where he taught for six months. Scott's computing career began in 1949, when he joined IBM in New York City as a programming mathematician, developing programs for the Selective Sequence Electronic Calculator. The IBM Selective Sequence Electronic Calculator Control is accomplished by means of written instructions, which the machine reads and follows. Typical comments are Read a number from one of the reading units and store it in a given memory unit. Take the number from a given memory unit, multiply it by the one in another unit. Drop a specified number of digits from the answer and deposit in a third unit. Here we have an example of electronic calculator we mentioned before. In 1953, Code left the United States and IBM in protest against Senator Joseph McCarthy's witch hunting and moved to Ottawa, Canada, where he ran the Data Processing Department for Computing Device of Canada Limited. A chance meeting with his old IBM manager led to his return to the US in 1957, when he rejoined IBM. Now based in Poughkeepsie, New York, he worked on the design of Stretch. The basic idea is that while one program is waiting for someone, event to occur, such as the completion of a read or write operation, another program can be allowed to make use of the computer central processing unit. Multiprogramming is now standard on essentially all computer systems expect for the smallest personal computers. In 1961, on an IBM scholarship, he moved to Ann Arbor, Michigan, where he attended the University of Michigan and obtained MCC and PhD in Communication Science. His thesis, which was published by Academic Press in 1968, under the title Cellular Automat represented a continuation and simplification of Van Neumann's work on self-producing automat. In it, code showed that 29 states required by Von Neumann's schema could be reduced to just 8. And this picture that aims to show how it works briefly. Running and waiting protesting states combined. Code then returned to IBM Poughkeepsie, where he worked on high-level techniques for software specification. He then turned his attention to database issues in 1968, transferred to the IBM Research Laboratory in San Jose, California. Several database products 
did indeed exist at that time, however they were without exception at hoc, cumbersome and difficult to use, they could really only be used by people having highly specialized technical skills and they rested on no solid theoretical foundation, could recognize the need for such a foundation and applying its knowledge of mathematical logic was able to provide one by creating the invention with which his name will forever be associated the relational model of data. The relational model is widely recognized as one of the great technical achievements of the 20th century. It, revol it revolutionized the way databases were perceived, indeed it transformed the entire database field which previously consisted of little more than a collection of ad hoc products, proposals and techniques into a respectable scientific and academic discipline. More specifically, it provided a theoretical framework within which a variety of important databases could be attacked in a scientific manner. As a consequence, it's no exaggeration to say that Essentially, all databases in use or under development today are based on code's ideas. Whenever anyone uses an ATM machine or purchases an airline ticket or uses a credit card, he or she is effectively relying on code's invention. Code described his model further and explored its Im implications in a series of research papers, staggering in their originality that he published over the next several years. Throughout this period, he was helpful and supportive to all who approached him. The author of these notes included, with a serious interest in learning more, or with a view of the helping dis disseminate, and perhaps elaborate on his ideas. At the same time, he was steadfast and unyielding in defending those same ideas from adverse criticism. It should be noted, incidentally, that the relational model was, in fact, the very first abstract database model to be defined. Thus, Kett not only invented the relational model in particular, he actually invented the data model concept in general. During the 1970s, Kott also explored the possibility of construction a natural language question and answer application on top of a relational database system, leading a small team that built a prototype of such an application called Rendezvous. Rendezvous allowed the user with no knowledge of database systems to engage in a dialogue with the system, starting with a query possible and not very precisely stated. And winding up with a precise query and corresponding answer where the entire dialogue was conducted in natural language, English in the case of the prototype. Throughout this time, code continued to be employed by IBM, perhaps because it was heavily invested in its existing non relational database product. IMS and was anxious to preserve the revenue from that product. However, IBM itself was initially quite unreceptive to Code's relational ideas. As a consequence, other vendors, including Relational Software Inc. and Relational Technology Inc., were able to steal a march on IBM and bring products to market well before IBM did. Seeing the way, the winds were blowing, senior IBM management decided in the late 1970s that IBM should build a relational product of its own. That decision resulted in the announcement of SQL DS for the VSE environment in 1981 and DB2 for the MVS environment in 1983. In Code's opinion, however, those IBM products, though clearly superior to their non-relational predecessors, 
were less than fully satisfactory because their support for the relational model was incomplete. Partly for that reason, code resigned from IBM in 1984. After a year or so working as an independent consultant, in 1985 he formed, along with colleagues Sharon Weinberg and Chris Tate, two companions, the Relational Institute and Code and Date Consulting Group, specializing in all aspects of relational database management, relational database design and database product evolution. Over the next several years, Code saw the relational database industry grow and flourish to the point where it was and continues to be worth many tens of billions of dollars a year. Throughout that period, and indeed for the remainder of his professional life, he worked titles to encourage vendors to develop full relational products and to educate users, vendors and standards organizations regarding the service such a product will provide and why users need such services. He was also interested in the possibility of extending his relational ideas to support complex data analysis, coining the term OLAP online analytical processing is a convenient label for such activities at the time of his death he was investigating the possibility of applying his ideas to the problem of general business automation and code died april 18 2003 in williams islands florida he is survived by his wife sharon his first wife, Libby, a daughter, Catherine, three sons, Ronald, Frank, and David, and several grandchildren.